Sorry about that. There we um, go. I've asked some of the other out of state guys about this. You're out of state about what the bucket means to them. Obviously, you're younger, but have you got a sense of how big this game is for you know the program, the fan bases, and all that? Oh yeah, you know, obviously being here last year, I got a, a much better understanding. You know, being from Texas, I had heard of it, but you know, never truly understood. But um, you know, Coach Deal does a great job as well, uh, emphasizing uh, what the bucket means to this program, and and I'm excited to to go win it this week. Cannon over to Daniel. Week after week, uh, you've had some close calls. Uh, how do you make sure that the offense keeps its head up? Because it's clearly improving over time. How do you make sure everybody keeps their head up and stays focused with this final game of the season? Uh, yeah, you know, we've uh, we've come this far. We didn't just come this far to to just come this far. You know, we got to we got to finish strong. And, and I, I think we've done a, a great job of improving week to week. But, you know, we got to finish and and we got to find a way to win this one. Daniel, 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 Pete. Pete. Yeah, kind of just um, the future of the offense, obviously. You, EJ, has a year left. McCulley's been playing well of late. Trent as well. Um, how exciting is that to kind of set this platform for 2024? And um, I assume you're planning on returning to IU for next year too, right? Yeah, we've uh, we've got some we've got some great pieces, and you know, I'm big fan of of what we're doing here. And you know, we just got to continue to improve, and you know, um, we got to find a way to win this last one, and and then um, you know, build in the off season and and see what all happens. And uh, you know, as far as like. You know, maybe Coach Carey gets to install a little bit more of um, his own offense and, and uh, you know, maybe put some more pieces in place and, and we'll see what happens. But we got a, a great group of guys and, and I'm excited. We'll go Pete, get back, get back to Matt Weaver. Yeah, hey, Brandon, if you're evaluating your ability to read defenses, now, how much better are you now than when, you know, at the start of the year? And what are the keys for you to be able to read these defenses? Uh, you know, just more time in the film room, just watching film on my own and, you know, just a better understanding of the game, knowing uh, where guys are aligning and they're telling you what they're doing. And, you know, um, Purdue does a great job of, of disguising stuff. And, you know, they're a great defense. And, you know, we got to attack them early um, like we have these past couple of weeks. And I think we'll be good. But, you know, uh, as far as reading the defenses and stuff, just, you know, game reps is huge. And and uh, I feel like that's helped a lot. Matt, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to ask about, um, you guys ran the ball really well on Saturday, your, your, your best uh, you know, rushing effort of the season. And Coach Carey talked about how that makes it easier for you. I guess as a quarterback, kind of an obvious question, but how much easier does it make your job when even when it's, you know, third and five, third and six, you don't necessarily have to throw the ball to get the first down. You guys can still run it, and it just kind of wears the other defense down or the opposing defense down. Oh, yeah, you know, it wears them out. Obviously, um, I feel like our line did a great job up front. You know, we were, we were running the ball really physically, and, and – uh, you know, I thought our backs did a great job as well. And, and our receivers did a great job blocking as well in the run game. And, um, you know, it makes it easier, especially off the play fake and, and stuff like that to, to get the defense to come down and, you know, make a make a couple easy throws whenever whenever that presents itself. But, you know, we did a great job running it and, and we got to continue that this week. We're going to take you. Guys, still overall challenges of this year and, um, for you, obviously, the, the way that it's all kind of played out, but more on a, a broader team perspective, what are you most proud of? Uh, you know, just our fight. Um, you know, we're always in it. We just gotta, we just gotta learn how to finish, but we're always in these games. Um, a bunch of close ones and, you know, our ability to respond to adversity is, is really, really impressive. But, you know, like I said, we gotta finish games and, you know, um, Coach Gary always talks about it, you know, uh, it's impressive. It's good, but it's not above the line. You know, uh, when you're losing, it's it's not good enough. So we just got to continue to improve and and find a way to win. Anybody, anybody have anything else? else? All right. All right. Great. Thanks, Thanks, everybody. Thank y'all.